You know what it's like when you make a spur of the moment decision and you wonder to yourself whether or not you've made a good decision. Well, I don't actually know yet, to be fair, because I haven't even looked at it properly, no. Because I needed a new inflator. You're excited, eh? A tyre inflator. And uh, the reason why I need one is because the gauge doesn't work. It doesn't work at all. So you kind of guesstimation, and I, I tend to use the manual tyre pressure gauge, which is fine, you know. It's just some extra faff that you've got to do for basic inf in, um, inflations. Now, if it's on the motorbike, I always use the gauge. Um, not this gauge, but, you know, a natural, proper, decent handheld gauge because it's important but the general stuff like yeah the ride on uh, lawnmowers and the tractor and stuff like that well it's not that critical you're not going that quick no you just want to inflate the tires and uh, i would like to have some idea what the pressure is so anyway i dropped the missus off at the airport in the mode which is Bellegarde airport and i popped into lidl's and they have their brand called parkside and i saw this it was 12.99 it's a a tire inflator and uh, a, a blowy thing, like that. <laughs> so what we're going to do is we'll have a look at this to see what my first impressions, what it's like. Yeah. Is it worth 12 99 even, do you know what I mean? Yeah, you get a manual, you get some plastic bits, like nipples. Yeah, you get your nipples, you get them, and then a couple of envelope things. Okay, well, I don't know what's in them yet. And then we get the actual tyre inflator. First impressions is I don't like the hose. That's my first impression. Um, if you look on this one, this has got like a high pressure rubber hose. Far more durable than one of those. Remember, it's only 12 99 though. So, yeah, for the whole, for both things and all the little bits that go with it. So, should I complain? Not really. It feels all right in the hand though. I have to admit, it feels okay in the hand. And so you've got to do one job. Uh, I'm not a lover of these things. No. I prefer the ones we just push on like that one. Um, saying that, sometimes that might be quite handy. It's got the the deflator on the side here as well. Anyway, let's plug it in. <laughs> let's attach it to me airline. And see whether or not it actually attaches, because sometimes that can be a problem. Sometimes these things aren't very well machined. Oh, that's okay. Oh, it sounds okay. Oh, ominous, ominous. Don't do that. <laughs> Oh, so anyway, let's see what's in, in the little bags of bits. Oh, I've got my little bags of bits that we have. Uh, you know, that'd be funny, you've got all these bits with it. It's quite handy. Now, looking at it, these bits are designed to go with these teats over there. So I imagine that screws into there. Yeah, that, might, that screws into there. And then you use this clip on what's it there. Obviously, I haven't looked at the instructions. And then you can inflate things like your... Um, yeah, you, you, you're dull. Or whatever you like, I don't know what you're into, but you know. Oh, lovely. Yeah, so inflate things. And, or, you, or your rubber ring, I don't know. So that's kind of what that lot's for. So I'll, I'll keep that together like that, because then I won't lose that bit. So I'll keep that together. We've also got another inflator here, which is a separate, separate one. Um, let's go on to there like so. So we've got another inflator there. Okay, that's okay. Right, so... Oh no, that's pretty good value for money just for this bit, to be fair. But you get a double whammy. Got something else in this envelope. Yes. Got a blowy thingy. Yeah, like this one. Alright, this is the proper one. <laughs> this is the cheap ass one. So, anyway, you've got, you've got uh, one job to do, haven't you? It's a very simple job. I'm just going to tighten this one up before I forget because it's, got, it's worked its way loose. Where's the right size? It's too big. Oh, uh, e -R -M -B. oh and I've got 14 in there. 14 or 15 sometimes. There's one in there. I'll have to use the adjustable. Oh dear, what a shame. Anyway, that's on there. So put that to one side. So we've got this little uh, blowy thingy. Yeah, it feels all right. It is what it is, isn't it? You know? It's this little valve, really. That's all it is. And you've got a, a load of attachments. Um, well, that attachment obviously is an adapter for Presto um, bike. I believe that's, look at that, that's for a Presto bike um, inner tube. So that goes directly onto the actual inflator, that one does. So, uh, same here, we've got another one that goes directly onto the inflator, I imagine. Or does it screw into there? No, it doesn't. It goes onto the inflator. Right, then we've got these two snouts, three snouts. 
Yeah, three snouts. Now this snout here also goes with the inflator. That's a, you know, your football inflator. You've got to have your football inflator that you have. Always for the intravenous, you know, to pump you up with air. Or stuff like that. So anyway, that's that one. <laughs> so we don't need to worry about that. That's the inflatory bit done. We've just got the blowy bit to worry about now. So we've got this little handle here with a trigger on it. Usual kind of caboodle. And then we've got uh, an extended nozzle. It goes in there. Obviously it needs tightening up. And that obviously will then push onto there like that. Yeah, that works. And we've got three, no, two, so two nozzles with that. I don't really need the long one. So I'll probably keep the short one on it. The long ones like to get bent. So I'll keep that to one side in case I do want to use it. But I don't really need anything like that. If, if anything, really, I could have probably just done with a, a basic nozzle. Is that the actual basic nozzle? Mm, no, smaller. There isn't a bait. No, okay, they're smaller. All right, so that goes onto there like so. Is that a first thing this time? Yep, that is. Squeezing the trigger. All right. Well, what can you say about it, really? It seals. I can't hear any leaking. It's no leaking. One way to tell is just put it back at water. If it's bubbling all over the place, you know there's a problem. Yeah, that's fine. Right, there you go, look. Simple, isn't it? I don't know what you need that for. Anything else in the box? Nothing else in the box. So I'll put that back in there. I'm gonna put the envelopes, which got nothing inside now. Double check before I get rid of them. Right, so, okay, all in all, what do you get? You get a tire inflator, like so. So one tire inflator. All right, you get an adapter that goes onto the tire inflator so you can use these uh, teats. These nipples. Yeah, okay, so you've got those. And then you've got another nipple here that connects directly onto the tire inflator. You've got a Presto inflator here, because it's like a woods, uh, your typical woods um, inflator. This actually feels quite good. I have to admit, that's actually pretty positive. So hopefully that, yeah, because usually things are very flimsy. That's actually quite good. Um, so you've got your Presto inflator there. You've got a blowy thing here that you put on there like so, so you, uh, I suppose you can then push it into places to blow in places you can't get to, maybe. Or something else you might want to inflate. And you get your um, your football inflator. So okay, all in all, for 12 99 it's a bargain really, let's be honest. It's a bargain. And it's got a gauge, for which if I had a tyre in it, <laughs> wrong head on. If I had a tire in I could show you the gauge working, but I haven't. Um, what if I put that on the end of there? Well, actually, maybe that one might be better. On the end of that there. Put the finger on the end, see if I can get the gauge to work. Oh, yes, it works. Yep, so if I put my finger on, on the end. It's leaking, obviously, from my finger. Also, if you do that and press the button there, that goes down as well. Put that button there, that's your deflator button. In case you've actually overinflated your tyres. Anyway, so I'm quite pleased with that. 12.99 is a bargain. Can't really complain, can you? Anyway, so there you go. I ain't got no links for it, what have you, but you know, you'll find it in your Lidl's or online uh, on the Lidl store. It's a Parkside, and the model number is. Is it. Uh, PDSS13D4. That's what it is, okay? Yeah. Yeah, that's what it is. And the pr uh, maximum pressure is 8 bar, which that's most people's compressors. I think mine's at 9 bar actually, so be a bit careful. So the one, uh, you, you get one pistolet de soufflage, one inflator, uh, two uh, bushes, one, uh, so one blower, one inflator. With tube and what have you, and on valves, and what, yeah, basically, everything I showed you. And it comes, it's got a three year uh, guarantee. As if anyone wants to be bothered with that, and they know that, obviously. Anyway, don't forget to put the old like button, and maybe that was helpful, maybe it wasn't. I just thought pins was in. I'll just uh, wag out another video. So there you go. Ta ta! <laughs> don't forget, comment down below.